this is Eddie here and um, well you may wonder how did I make that noise um, maybe I was using far too many at the same time and what was I actually using well instead of me mentioning it let's just have a look at what I was using and I'll tell you what we're gonna do right so we have here the DD2 I've marked them as well so you can see it much better DD2, DD5, DD6 and the DD7 and each pedal has been set for the same delay time repeat output strength level and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to play just one note and go through all the different pedals and just listen out to the uh, trail off repeats and the strength and output levels and see if you can hear any differences what I need to do is I need to play one note here on the guitar and just make sure that I play the, the note exactly to the same strength which is not always easy but I'm just going to try it and see start with a DD2 switch that one off because it gets faint but it doesn't go away this one oscillates easily still there but faint I want it to be out of the signal that one as well it keeps oscillating it gets more faint but it'll stay there have to switch it off. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to play and I'm going to use two pedals at a time, just first one and the other one, and do again the same. Listen out for how each set of pedals, how they merge to create one sound. It's almost like a flanging sound. And this is due to like the differences they have, uh, even though I've got them set exactly the same way, but they all sound slightly different. So just here, listen for that like merging sound, merging one, one particular sound and uh, like causing kind of flange effect. So I'm just going to go through through each of them um, as I keep playing. <laughs>
So you could you could hear as we were going through it, the DD2 seemed to be strong right in the beginning. I have to mention like about these output levels, they're not set exactly the same. Well, for the ear they are, but when when you hear it back, it, I mean physically they're not they're not exactly the same. They're not on full because all all of these pedals have got different output levels. Basically, the DD2 is the weakest. DD5 is, has got more output. DD6 has got maybe the same as the DD5, but it can, it it just because it oscillates, it, so it can be become more over overpowering. The DD7 certainly is. It's got a lot more output than the than the six. So to go back to what I said before, DD2 the notes seem to be strong right in the beginning, and it fades away and fades actually quite quickly, and then the sound gets um, weaker basically. The DD5, when you listen, it's like it gets stronger. Just this is almost like there is a compressor there, uh, the, so the sound is being brought up. The trail off point is much longer on the DD, DD5 than the DD2. The DD6 seemed to be weak in the beginning, then it gets picked up and it doesn't faint away. This, the, sorry, fade away the sound, it, it, it was still there. Uh, it, it certainly oscillates a lot quicker. Um, and then the DD7, similar, not so much that the sound was being picked up, it just stayed strong throughout. The, the fadeaways of all of them, the um, DD2 may be more natural than DD5, slightly, and DD, DD6 and 7, the fadeaways are just also different, uh, but it seemed to stay there, so the oscillating thing is certainly there. And that's you did get a bit of distortion. That is because of the levels. I didn't want to alter it because of what I did before. But when I played, you could hear I would have to alter it. And because also the signal stays in the pedals. So even when this switched off, your trail offs are still there. So we then at some point we'll have the trail offs from so many different pedals, and that creates the distortion. You could change that by altering the levels. But then I I changed the whole thing. What we had right at the beginning. But I hope that you could hear as well that that all all the pedals are different, and that that's good for like creating certain effects. So what I what I just showed this this flanging sound, you can also get it by just having totally different delay um, uh, settings for each pedals. Um, but it's a slightly different kind of sound. I'll, I'll do more videos where I use just different delay settings. Um, but that's it for um, this one. I hope you enjoyed it uh, and thanks for watching and I'll see you again.
Stop it there, long enough. Yeah.